we are going to um, New Dog City because we're in Suplex City and we need the big business. Now I'm just kidding. We're going to PS2 because that's exactly where everybody's going to go. So I like how this immediately opened up with our Gwizzy Nairo immediately took stage control. Nairo taking that with neutral air, but unfortunately losing that, now having pressure. Blue team now taking that. Mars holding the fort down, but luckily Dark Gwizzy is able to sort of sneak in and just maintain the control. I'm kind of interested in the fact that Nairo decided to go with Palatina in this uh, team concept here, because usually he'll play something like Lucina against both Ike and Fox, being able to have more consistent edge guards. But at the same time, the way that Light and Mars have been playing, I don't see any reason to switch off, and I think Palatina does a good enough job of stuffing him out. It's gonna be on Wizzy to keep him alive, just barely missing that up smash conversion. The thing is, he tried. He may have wanted to kind of release it a little earlier because he was probably paying attention to what Mars was doing. Mm -hmm. Make sure he didn't get stuffed out and wanted to take care of it. Unfortunately, that was his own downfall. Yeah, if you but fall asleep while an Ike is anywhere near you, you're going to die. <laughs> so, um, as you're saying, the uh, why he was just. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. You would have thought that I was in disadvantage. No, I'm paying attention. I so I see where you are. A little unknown. Uh, well, most people know, but if you don't happen to know, at the beginning startup of warp. Once you hear warp, if you throw a hitbox that could potentially two frame, you will catch it. It's very easy to time on that. And Mars is really good at catching. I don't sell with that. It seems really awkward to hit on most setups at like a major tournament that don't have sound on because you usually a lot of people are on audio yeah. cues. And unfortunately, some characters will just do a lot better because you can't hear the one cue that is their giveaway. Yeah. And, uh, you know, characters like Fox are definitely, they, they want to be able to time that, but with the way that light works, he's, he's so good at just kind of mauling you and it, just not really giving you an opening to begin with. But it's on the other foot this time. Mars is actually going to go down. And you see light is already being chased in the double team, but his defense was immaculate in that 2v1. They're not taking any damage. Perfect. And that down smash just separated Dark Wizzy and Nairo. It's like, get out of here. Are they playing Ice Climbers? Because he just hopped in the middle and just split the two apart. <laughs> Bye, Nana. <laughs> Dark Wizzy looking to protect his teammate on, and unfortunately getting that footstool jump, which actually put him out of the way to protect him properly. But Nairo luckily not taking any damage off that mistake and getting the up smash by, um, uh, by Light. He was trying to back air and protect. You saw the like awareness from Light. He had Wizzy directly in front of him, who was just empty hopping, trying to cause pressure to keep him back. Light saw the gap, ran in, and was able to close out that stock where uh, Wizzy left an opening. Yeah, because Nara was looking at um, uh, Mars coming with that forward air and tried to do that back air, you know, uh, con you know, contest against it. And Light just came in and sniped that up, up smash, got it. And, and this is kind of what we were talking about at the very beginning, too. Uh, we were saying that, you know, Palatina, uh, amongst the two picks here, would definitely work really well against hunting down Mars with the Ike. And he's been the one to close up the two stocks. I'm not too surprised that we're now seeing a swap. You see how Light opted to go now after Nairo, and then Mars decided to go after Wizzy. Yes, and Wizzy now on his last stock. Luckily held that bit, so he's able to make sure that Nairo has that protection that he needed. Yeah, dead even for uh, dead even stocks here. Uh, Wizzy's doing a good job of consistently stock taking as per usual. Gets the two frame, but unfortunately couldn't back off Mars, and Light is going to be able to get himself back on stage. That up smash is not going to kill yet either. Both of them trying to find their ground, their footing right now. And that's going to be the first kill going to him. Wizzy was able to strike blood first. Now, Light, very good in the 2v1. However, against these two characters, very strong. While dealing with disadvantage, it's going to be a very troublesome. I was immediately going to say this does look like Blue Team's favor until Mars took that KO off that up smash uh, conversion from the back row. Yeah, well, um, Nairo. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it was Nairo. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. Mars taking the. Oh, yeah, losing his. Yeah. Well, you see right here, even at 108%. Light is just doing a perfect job of kind of boxing his way in and out. I like the fact that Wizzy is just kind of staying reserved. He's not overcommitting because... Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. That's going to be a stock loss for Nairo. A potentially a comeback coming in here for Light. He has to be very careful jumping above him. You already know the Book of Mario is going to be preached. He's going to be seeking out the up smash very soon. Both of them are going to sneak up up smash on each other, actually. This is going to be quite both oh, going for each other. He gets that back air on. Tries to go with the forward smash, reading he was going to do the get up and just goes to that... He jumped down there, does that it? Yeah, that's gonna be it. You know, uh, you saw that he jumped full hop jump before. Because at this at that percent, full hop there, you wanna get that soft spot so you can get the conversion to the up smash. Light's gonna be seeking that out. He already knew, especially in that position, it's like, alright, he needs to kill me. So let me just throw out anti airs. If he if he happens to catch me in up smash, I might not die. I'm only at 80 percent if I di this correctly. So sometimes you have to know when it's okay to be willing to take a trade for a potential stock, and that's how he called it right.
It's also a very good move to kind of throw out. It's a yeah. very, you know, large hitbox. You try to challenge it with anything, even if that, like, jump nair went to go ahead to try to convert into that smash, yeah, that would have also gotten blown up. Yeah, and he was fading away, too. It's like, he, he was retreating back to center stage and already holding left. He was DIing away, so it would have been the proper DI in the first place. That way, if he did get hit by light, it's okay. But the second one is like, you know what? He didn't jump that first time. I bet you he's going for it this time. Wasn't even a full hop. He's still able to kill him. It was a little bit unfortunate of Nairo. He definitely was going way too deep for these uh, kills to try to go on light. Uh, instead of trying to just maintain and cover the ledge get up options, they're going back to um, uh, PS2. Not even. Uh, I'm not too beat. surprised by that. You know, it was very even across the board for all of them. And um, I agree as well that I think that we might see Nairo. Obviously, you want to drop down there because it's pretty free on some of the recoveries if they go low. But we, he might hold his ground a little bit more and just stick to getting those backdoor conversions to the up smash and going for the anti air full hop jumps where he was getting those up airs. Those nair juggles on Ike are just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, that's what Pal that's the name of the game, Palutena. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you want a character that is good, check out their nair. If their nair does everything for you, you're in a good shape. And both of them, they they have uh, actually everybody on the screen has a relatively good nair outside of maybe Mario, but it doesn't really like he's got the combo breakers, but he doesn't even need the combo extensions because he's got his own up air. Yeah. Bit, you know he can't even really get anything going though right now though because Mars is keeping him in the air as long as possible. Meanwhile, Light trying to find his footing, not quite getting in and just getting hit again. And then from deep from the other side of the stage, he's like, let me just try to get this like back air. Runs, jumps, gets the reverse back air, and we got a you know, dead character. Yeah, good thing for Wizzy to make sure he pulls out that stock too because you don't want to let that situation get out of hand. After losing that stock, you got to even the gap very quickly, especially against Mars and Light. I like the fact that Marsh is continuing to harass with these up airs in center stage. It's like, all right, look, you go away from me, you go to light. You come towards me, you catch these up airs. Meanwhile, Mar uh, Nairo currently getting boxed out, but light also can't make his way back. He's going to go down finally on his first stock. But now we got, oh, light just deciding to uh, throw that Nair out and just say, I'm going to ignore you. He wants to put enough pressure to put him onto the ledge, giving him enough time to just get like one or two hits on Dark Wizzy as he goes in for that other hit. Yeah, it's good defense on Nairo as well, being buried in the corner. Like, Light was just consistently throwing those hitboxes out. Ooh, double parrying the Epto, but doesn't get anything else off of it. Meanwhile, Mars. Looks nice, at least. Yeah, every, every time I hear it, just, it just makes me feel so good. Like, I, I really love a lot of the Comfort of Light things they did, but that's still consistent. Back throw into the up smash. Just going to take in another sock and I Light think, I think and that, Mars going down. I think that one combo itself and the fact that Palutena's Nair can just break up a lot of fights is probably why Nara went Palutena mm -hmm. in the first place over some like Lucina he would normally use this matchup. The synergy is just there. Yeah. But the character. difference in knockback in this game, not being able to combo, that's easy, but being able to have an, a literal giant wall of a, a kill move that you could throw somebody at works so much better. But Mars and Light cleaning it back up, even it back down, very similar to game one. Yes, and even to throw lack back air, which then basically makes the opponent you're throwing a, a move in it itself. Mm. So if someone tries to challenge it, they get hit, knocked back, and then you get the converted kill. It's yeah. ridiculous of what it covers. Yeah, it's kind of similar to you know like the the fox Ike concept too, because you like you know Ike's got a giant wall. He literally swings at you the entire time, and if you get happen to get tossed into it, you're most likely gonna die. It's a lot of knockback. Almost getting a back air coverage too. He didn't blow his jump, but light shot. Oh the, my the, god! The good. pressure. The Ooh. pressure bars. The pressure Mars is putting on Nairo is hilarious. Just du the triple empty jump. Then finally just charging F smashing, but unfortunately not getting all of it in. Nairo managing to take Light's last stop in. Yeah, you know, uh, to speak on what... Uh, yeah, that was all the option coverage he needed. If he dipped low, he was getting caught by Flood. If he went too low, he was dying. If he went... Like, he had no option there other than pulling the trigger right there. Nairo was able to get to the position and close it out. Get I don't. It? I wouldn't be surprised if we see him switch to ZSS now because both these characters are just really good at covering everything that uh, Ike wants to do to get back. He may have the kill power, but you want that recovery. It's one covers the other and sort of like what, you really, what options you're really going for, one can cover the stage quite well, one can cover your ledge options quite well. So it's like, let me cover if you're covering low, um, if you're going to the ledge, I got you, and if you go over me, Mario's there charging that giant head, like, I got you. Yeah, you may not have the same type of team, team combos before, but as long as you got the option coverage, you're fine. And he's actually gonna opt to stick it out. And, you know, again, it was very, very close, but I, we need to see a little bit more of Mars, like, kind of just maintaining center stage. Go for those back airs at the ledge when you can, but be very careful because he's been getting pushed off stage a lot, and usually with those high recoveries, Nairo is seeking him out pretty much every single time. Ooh, and then now we're trying to drag him off, and unfortunately not quite getting that with that um, uh, neutral beef from Palutena, but he makes his way back to the stage. And now we have Nairo kind of controlling the space of the game, but getting thrown, uh, Mars getting thrown into the center stage, now maintains that presence. Yeah, and he decided to, uh, you know, tag out as as his cue for this uh, for this right now. Light it was not able to get back down to the ground either. Like, both of them are getting juggled 
tremendously by the red team right now. Not too much damage, uh, other than the near to back area to kind of even this back up, but even with the percent lead kind of even, red team looks much more composed so far between the two. Yes, definitely. It looks like it seems like they know exactly what coverages they're going for. They're both just really good double players in themselves, but we also have the Mars like kind of like tag team that they're always teaming together, so you have the familiarity as well. So it's more just kind of like two you know solid doubles players versus two players who've been playing together for quite a long time. I mean both Light and Mars are good in their own right, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But and, you it's know, just more how does their double situation awareness compare between the two? And that was that mental awareness we talked about before, you know, Nairo just put out that side B because it looked like not Wizzy might die. He ended up taking out Light with it. Wizzy followed up to, uh, to death afterwards because Light found him, but it was still a good way of knowing that, all right, this is optimal because I'll at least take you out potentially with him. Oh, okay, not accidentally spiking his teammate. But he does get the other kill as well, so it is kind of a one-on-one -on -one, one -one trade. Yeah, meanwhile, Mars, what we were sitting there talking about his survivability before, I think a big difference now is you've noticed he stayed much more center stage. He's kind of been playing mid-range between both Mars, I mean, between both Wizzy and Nyra. Not really just getting overrushed by them, but that anti-air is going to catch him out, or the anti-air there, he's going to finally lose his stock. Yeah, unfortunately, he tried going for the jump Mari. He thought Mari was going to cover those get-up options, but Wizzy was like, I think you're going to jump for it. Goes in that di um, that down air and covers every option out of the jump that he would have had. So I, I guess um, he realized that he can't go in for the damage or Mars can't go in for this damage. And again, as you mentioned before, going for these stock tanks, deciding to play a little more passively. And we'll see it's kind of showing a little bit. It was showing a little bit in um, uh, their favor. But unfortunately, that counter is going to say goodbye to Light. He has to share stuff. Yeah, all that extra knockback increase on that Firefox definitely not coming in clutch for Light right there because that counter took him out rather quick. Now, both of them on the blue team on their last stock, they really need to kind of focus on the 2v1, force somebody off stage, trying to go for a hard read spot dodge with the F smash. Could have definitely killed Nairo, but you already see Nairo, he's, he's, he's not really afraid of that. Good defense as well, not getting caught by the eruption on the warp. And uh, Light just trying to keep Dark Wizzy off the stage, and then Light deciding to come in and save his team as soon as he has a chance to. And a <laughs> dog from the heavens, he saw it. You can't, no amount of uh, no matter courage, DI, or any hitbox you could have put out there potentially could have saved him because if you hit him with off air to try and stop that spike, he was going down. And now this is a pretty much a nightmare for Mars right now. He has 121%. Both these characters extremely good against uh, Ike in this matchup alone, having to deal with both of them at the same time. He has to play perfect defense right now. Unfortunately, yeah, you can't. Throws are actually now really bad now because they put they keep you in place. Mm -hmm. And as you see, he kind of got thrown off. And Nairo decided to explosive flame. He's really good at using that explosive flame recovery. He knows exactly when you're going for it. So you see exactly what we're going on here. Yeah, you see this entire situation right here, this whole sequence. You know, Light was trying to keep him safe. Nairo pushed him back <laughs> off. And because of that, it ended up leading to his own demise. That was such good mental awareness from Wizzy while on recovery to actually get that spike. Most people aren't paying attention for that type of situation. Yeah, so again, dark, that's why Dark Wizzy is a top doubles player. To be able to go like, I'm recovering. Oh, wait. There's something juicy over there. Do I see a forwarder spike? 